Hey folks, it's Rick. I'm going to do a little um, review of another one of Chip's guitars. This one is the Dan Electro 59 MJ electric guitar. I'm start on the neck pickup here. I've got the tone rolled down probably 80%. Now it's back up to around 60. So first impressions I had of this guitar were like last year, and Chip just handed it to me and I played it a little bit and I was like, wow, that sounds a lot better than I expected it would. And so the sound was the first thing that hit me. And the second thing that hit me is that it's like, it feels like it's three pounds. It's really, really light. So two things in its favor. So it had a very unique sound and it was really light. I would do the bridge pickup now. Volume and tone is cranked out. I'm going to turn down the tone all the way. And then up a little bit to make it useful. thing in its favor is this neck. This neck feels fantastic. Really, um, it's a world manufacturing, world musical instruments from Korea. Uh, so I'm not surprised that this neck feels a lot like uh, this neck on this PRSSE Soap Bar 2 Mabel. They, they feel the same to me, which is great. I love that neck. I like this neck. Um, really great. The frets are not huge. I guess they're medium jumbo. They're good. Uh, strange nut. Some sort of metal. I don't know if it says on here what that is. It's a metal nut though. It might be brass that's painted. It might be aluminum. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know what that is. Because I'm, I'm sure that it... Um, contributes to the sound of this thing. All right, tone back up all the way. Let's do the middle, both pickups. Back 
to neck. So the issue I had with the guitar was just things like this switch was dirty and it was messing up the knobs. Um, but I sprayed it out for chip and it's working a lot better now. Uh, these tuners are just what they look like. They're plastic open back tuners. Uh, the bridge pickup with the tumnus on. And neck pickup with the tumnus. This 21 fret scale, 25 inch die cast bridge with aluminum metal saddles. So they're each adjustable. That's cool. Um, new 56 lipstick pickups, very close to 50s Dan Electro tone. Stacked tone and volume controls. I don't like that. Um, so these are, this is neck volume. The ring on the outside is the volume. And the inside part is the tone. For the neck and then over here it's the same thing for the bridge the volume is the ring at the bottom and the tone is up here the thing I don't like about this is that first of all I don't like ex extra volumes and tones I just like a one master volume one master tone uh, Les Paul I have it on I also have that situation on a Gretsch and well that's about it everything else is master volume master tone well, strats, whatever they have going on. But um, I tolerate it on those guitars. It's a little better on the Gretsch because there's a master volume, but you have to reach all the way across the damn guitar to get to it. But these, I just get very confused, and I end up turning everything up until I got used to it. And then I remember, okay, just turn down the middle if you want to roll off the tone, which I am a guy who rolls off the tone quite a bit. <laughs> staying in tune really quite well. I haven't tuned it since that long jam I just did. So G string dropped a hair. It's doing a lot of bending. So I'm happy with the um, with the tuning stability. Probably also has to do with the fact that these strings don't break at an angle much um, when they go over the nut. Those Gibson guitars, they break at that angle and it gives them a place to stick. So there's no, and also it might have to do with the fact that this metal, some sort of metal ore. <laughs> sure. It's
it's interesting how you can adjust the pickup height from the back of the guitar. This isn't so bad up here. I am not a guy who complains about fret axis. If I can't get to a fret, see, I just put my thumb over here. That's not too good if you're a if you want to do that. It's not that great. Back to the neck. Thanks, Sebastian Zunino. The guitar is a really nice vibe as far as uh, clean tones goes. So. Let's do a little looper here. These lipstick pickups, they're um, they're they're not noiseless, but they're really low noise. I it plays pretty well. I could use a setup. I think it's a little bit high the action, but it, like I said, I like the neck a lot. This is the short horn body style, short horn shape, with obviously a double cutaway um, die cast. I already talked about all this stuff. Uh, these guitars go for like four hundred bucks new. 
That's a pretty good tone. I gotta say. I'm pretty interested. I mean, I'm not ready to go out and buy one, but it's a it's an interesting proposition. So it just reminds me of being a guitar player back then when guitars were cheap. Not like I had done it for long, but I remember just having cheap guitars around to play. And they all kind of felt, they felt worse than this. This feels newer and better. And the tone is much better. So... say these pickups are awfully close to the strings. Very cool. Guitar made out of, you know, essentially the same thing my door is made out of. But it looks nice. I like the black on this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. That's it. Anybody have any other questions about it, let me know. It was fun to jam over. Uh, thanks to Sebastian Zunino for the track. Thanks to Chip for lending the guitar. And thanks to Fred for being here. He's a good boy. All right. Peace to y'all.